So we are super excited to be part of the LG family now. And, uh, you know, Alfonso and LG have been working very closely for many years now. We've been partners and uh, we've been, uh, you know, working with them, uh, monetize, helping them monetize their TV data. And with this partnership, obviously, it expands to even more areas. Uh, one of the things that, you know, LG is very interested in is in improving the consumer experience, right, on their smart TVs, uh, especially with, uh, you know, the trend in the market being more and more streaming that is being watched on TVs, um, LG uh, sees that as an important opportunity to truly bring, you know, data and analytics into that consumer experience. And uh, for us, this is very exciting because this is something, uh, Andy, even though, like you said, uh, the market sort of knows us as the TV retargeting company and data analytics company, uh, what we've been doing for the last uh, seven, eight years is trying to figure out how do we collect all this data and how do we benefit consumers, right? Because unless you provide consumers with benefits, uh, you know, you really can't collect this kind of deep uh, data about what consumers are watching and what they are looking for and things of that sort. So this is, you know, for us, it's actually uh, a, a sort of an onward journey of what we've been doing all along, uh, which is, you know, building more and more consumer features powered by the data that we collect whether it is you know, recommendations uh, of what content to watch, both on linear TV as well as you know, OTT. And that's actually becoming more and more important because there's so many streaming services available that it's like TV used to be in the past where you, know, you switch on TV, there are hundreds of channels and you don't know what exactly you should be watching, right? So same, you know, so solving that problem for consumers, uh, making you know, sort of the availability of content uh, much more easier. What I mean by that is, you know, oftentimes people have to figure out whether they want to watch uh, either, you know, a linear TV or a particular streaming network. Then they have to go inside that network and search for content. And then they'll find out that particular movie they wanted to watch is not available in that app, right? So now they're back again to, you know, the home screen, navigate to another app. This is, you know, extremely frustrating as you can imagine for a consumer. And we've done some amazing things there using, you know, voice enabled searches where you can literally ask for what you want. It will give you all the choices. And with one click, you are like deep into the content right away, things of that sort. So, uh, you know, bringing again, all the data that we have from consumers on what they're watching, personalizing that and making that available uh, it's definitely something uh, I think, you know, uh, we would love to do. And LG is really interested in, uh, you know, utilizing Alfonso's technology and data and, and experience in this field to power those experiences. Now, LG is taking a majority share, but you're remaining independent and working with other companies, other OEMs. Is that correct? And, you know, tell us a little bit about the roadmap, uh, including LG, but beyond LG. Yeah, that's correct. I think, you know, one of the things that, uh, you know, LG like with what Alfonso is doing is, you know, we have relationship, deep relationship with, with the many of the other OEMs in, in our industry. And we like, you know, this examples that I gave you are some of those that we are already powering uh, for some of our other partners. Uh, and, you know, LG sees that as a good thing, right? Like if you can improve the overall experience and if the data and all of those that we are collecting uh, improves uh, the overall experience. I think this is a, the great thing uh, for, for Alfonso and for LG. Uh, so they're very supportive of that and we'll continue uh, working with all our partners. Uh, we provide a monetization solution. And again, there, uh, one of the things that happens is when you bring in data from multiple partners and you, you increase the scale, that actually benefits the entire ecosystems, right? So there are you know, other competitors we work with, you know, we, we face in the market who have single source. And oftentimes that becomes a disadvantage for them when they go to an agency or a brand and they're trying to uh, sell that. Um, they hear that, hey, you know, is, the, is there diversity in the data? Is the data representative and things of that sort? So uh, by us working with multiple OEMs, I think it actually benefits everybody who is participating in that because it adds scale, it adds diversity, and it really addresses what the market is looking for. And what about the footprint of Alfonso uh, globally? Um, I, I know you, you know, tell us a little bit about what, how 
you may be expanding and, and the scope of your, your markets uh, that you'll be uh, operating in now with uh, this big partnership with LG. Does it change things? Where do things go? Yeah, again, it, it changes a lot for us. You know, we've had global ambitions and, you know, on our own, we have been operating in uh, North America, both in United States and Canada. And last year we launched in, uh, you know, five of the EU countries, you know, all the big markets there. Uh, we have our uh, TV OS backed uh, TVs going live in India this year. So, you know, we had our own sort of uh, roadmap, but that gets accelerated, as you can imagine, with uh, LG. LG is among the largest, you know, if you count the number of screens available, they are one of the largest in the world. And so this opens up a lot more markets and a lot more opportunity for, you know, for Alfonso to bring all of these technology pieces that I talked about. 